Hey there everybody, T-Shirt Booth here for GSHelper.com and uh, the other day I made a video on um, the use of a, of a custom pause behavior uh, opposed to using Game Salad's pause, um, they have the pause behavior here, pause game. I don't like to use that because what that does is loads a new scene on top of the scene which uh, brings up the little loady symbol once it's on the device and I, I don't really like that too much. So what I tend to do for my games is create a custom pause that will pause the game and then I just tell everything to stop doing what it's doing when I change the attribute game.pause to true uh, or to, to one which is right here. Uh, and then someone asked the question um, well with the way I do it how do I stop motion? Um, so if I have things that are moving around the scene and you pause how do you stop it from moving and then continue where it left off when you unpause. So I'm going to cover that today in this video and it's, it's fairly simple. Uh, once you uh, see it done you'll understand it. Um, so I have this preview here and you'll see these things are just bouncing around and I hit pause nothing happens. So we need these things to stop bouncing. So I'm going to go in here, I'm going to go into here and we're going to create three attributes and they're all going to be real attributes And they're real attributes because um, they require decimal points and stuff. So um, you have to use a real for that. And we're going to call this um, MOTX uh, for motion and MOTY for motion Y and ANGV for angular velocity. Um, so when an object is moving, um, the x, uh, linear velocity x, linear velocity y, and angular, angular velocity all have a value. Um, so what we need to do is record those values when we pause the game. So we're going to create a rule. And we're going to say when attribute game pause equals 1, because 1 is a pause state for my game, we're going to log their values. So we're going to change self motion x to self motion linear velocity x. So now we've just recorded that. We're going to create another change attribute and we're going to change self motion y to self motion linear velocity y. And then we need one more change attribute and we're going to change self angular velocity to self motion angular velocity. So now we've recorded what it's doing at the time of pause. We now need to stop these things from moving. So we're going to throw a timer in here. And for we can't just say stop motion because um, it still has some residual effects. So we need to actually do it for a little bit of time. So we're going to say for 0.3 seconds so just a short period we're gonna constrain self motion linear velocity x to 0 and then we'll constrain self motion linear velocity y to zero and then constrain self motion angular velocity to zero and it's very short time so it's okay to have a lot of these constraints if you have like 20 blocks because it, it's just for a split second your flame your frame rates will drop but there's no movement anyways so you're not gonna see the drop in frame rates for that split uh, one third of a second not even um, so it's it's totally fine so I'm going to hit preview here, and now you'll see when I pause, you're going to see they still fall down. And the reason for that is we need to, right now we have accelerate down for the um, gravity. So we need to create a rule inside that, and we got to say when attribute game.pause equals zero. So that when we change it to one, it stops accelerating down. So now when I hit preview, you'll see I pause, and boom, everything stops. But when I unpause, they just fall straight down. They didn't continue where they were when we paused it. Watch pause, they just fall straight down. 
So we need to tell them to go back to the state it was before we paused. So I'm going to shrink that rule, and I'm going to create a new rule here. And I'm going to say when attribute game pause equals zero, which is the unpaused state, we need to change all those attributes back. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab, uh, actually, no, I'll have to redo them because I don't want to use constraints. So we got to change attribute, and we're going to change game, uh, sorry, self motion linear velocity x to self mote y or mote x do another change attribute self motion linear velocity y to self mote y and last but not least change attribute self motion angular velocity to self angular velocity so what we've done here is we first we recorded in these ones what it was doing at the time of pausing and then we've constrained them to stop at zero and not move whatsoever for 0 0.3 seconds just to make sure that they're not moving and then when we unpause we're restoring those values so when I hit preview you'll see I pause it now when I unpause they're going to continue where they were going pause unpause pause unpause as if we never paused it and that's pretty much all you need to know about um, stopping a moving object uh, with a custom custom pause behavior uh, with game salad if you're interested you can head on over to gshelper.com and uh, underneath this video you'll see a download link and you can download this little project demo and uh, play around with it, do what you want with it and uh, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video.